Okay, so listen, so I want to talk about uh, aff affirmative action today. Affirmative action. We should probably, do you guys even know what it means? You know what it is? Do you have any idea? Seriously? God, we are, we are the land of the lost, man. So you're the four perfect people to, to be sitting up here, right? So the, the idea, I just want you to know, the, uh, the, the people out there that really dis feel disdain for you all, you, the, like you as coddled college students who uh, have really easy lives and, you know, the whole nine yards, um, they assume that you're all really well-versed about affirmative action and that like, you all have opinions about it and like, yeah. What is an affirmative action? This is the point. This is what they're asking, and they're up here. They're going to talk about it today, and they don't even know. How many of you, if I said, if I gave you a microphone, could come down? I'm not going to ask you to do it, so feel free to raise your hand. Could come down to the front and could tell us, could spend 60 seconds telling the rest of the class what affirmative action is? How, raise your hands really high. Mm -hmm. So for the home viewing audience, I see about like 15 hands. All right, man, 16, all right. When we really started taking uh, civil rights and women's rights, both uh, seriously, like really kind of taking a, an assessment, I was born in 1960. So you got, you know, you go back in the 60s and 70s and, early 70s, there, there was just a, there were different times in a, in a real serious reckoning about inequality and opportunity. Once we, you know, we passed the Civil Rights Act in 1964, um, where we, you know, we really started to address some of these serious issues. And so the question be became, all right, so what do we do, right? How do we, how do we, we have, we have so much historical inequality. What do we do? Okay? And because it's not enough just to say, hey, we're going to, like, rectify this now, and we're going to remove this barrier. Like, so, for example, so if, if this guy, if ostensibly we should be, he and I should be equal, right? And we should be, you, what you want to do is you, you two people who are born and you want to start on the starting line in the same place. And you have this idea that if he's born and I'm born and we live in similar neighborhoods and w whatever it is, then we have a similar opportunity, right? So whatever's inside his head, whatever's inside my head, the, 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 the willpower he has, the willpower I have, the desire he has to study and work hard, the desire I have to study and work hard, the opportunities that he has are essentially the same as the opportunities I have. So this is one of these things. We assume that and then we're equal. And where we end up on the race to, what, to growth, in e whatever, you know, the, the, to the, the ladder of success, that if one of us gets higher than the other one, then we're okay. But let's say that he, I don't have the opportunities, that, but for whatever reason he does because of his, his sex or because of his race or because of his culture. And so, bro, just walk up to like the top of, the, of those steps, right? So let's say, he, so I'm stuck here and he's moving ahead. All right. All right, hang on right there. So listen, so he and all the people that came before him are there. We're like trying to climb up the ladder. And then one day you come along and you, we look at this as a society and we say, we need to have a reckoning with this. Like that, his people had such an advantage over my people. And then we got to deal, what are we going to do? So we remove the barriers for me. For my people, right? We say like, so for women and men. So we remove the barriers for women. We say you can no longer discriminate against women in this way, right? So here, maybe you just stand up really. It'll be better if I, if a, so thanks, man. So here, we can no longer discriminate against women. Well, how about in black people? So here we go, right? Women and black people. So but, and he, but here's the thing. So we remove the barriers for her. Okay? We say, that's what we do. 
That's kind of what 1964 civil rights movement, all the, 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 the laws that started to come in place for women. And then we were like, okay, we're going to remove the barriers. But what do you see? What do you see, bro? Like, so we removed the barriers. So now they're on an equal playing field. Is it an equal playing field? I guess not. Well, well, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a, yeah, I don't know. Well, look where he is. And then look where she is. Because he's not moving. The equal playing field would be if we send this guy back down there. Right? But, yeah, I mean, it's a trick question, really, dude. But, but it's not. But he's staying here. And now she's down here. So we're like, okay. So we removed the barriers for women to compete with men, but men are already there. Or we removed the barriers for black and brown people, but white people are already there. Got it? So now what do you do? Do you just say like, all right, whatever. Do, all right, that's cool. So now just go ahead and compete, but you're here. You see what I mean? So now if she starts climbing the ladder of upward mobility, so you, if she starts climbing, go, go ahead, start walking up, and you walk up to, he's walking up too. He's, he continues to elevate himself. She's elevating, but the di here, the distance between them is the same. Like you, we say, yeah, but, but you're, but you have the same opportunities now. I, yeah, I know I have the same opportunities, but like, I don't have the same opportunities because he's still way up here. So then the question is, what do we do with that? Like, what do we do now? Right? Like, what's the fair thing to do? What do we do with her? What would be the fair thing? Really? Think about this. What would be fair? To do for her just say like because any but if we do something for her then here's the problem it's not fair for him like he didn't determine the laws like he didn't decide like 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 when I was born I didn't I'm not responsible for all what all the white people did before me or all the men did before me I'm just me I'm walking in this world competing bro so you're just you're not responsible, right? So we, we can't ask him, dude, sorry, man, but we got to like take one from you and go down to give it to her. Well, that wouldn't be fair to him, right? But at the same time, let's be clear. It's not fair for her. Y'all following this, right? It's not fair for her to say, like, okay, you're equal now. Let's go. Because she's not equal. Got it? Like she might be equal in this moment, but he's like, come on, man. Like it's not the same. So now we got to figure out what to do. Ah, so we came up with these programs and we call them affirmative action programs. Okay. And what we said was, well, we're going to take some action in the affirmative. We're going to do something for people here, particularly for women and black and brown people. We got to do something because you got to make up for the lost ground. It's only fair, right? At some level. Are you, all, are you following? Bro, are you following that? Does that make sense? It's about fairness. But then the problem is it's not fair to those people. So it's like, ah. So, but we devise these programs called affirmative action in some way. Okay? To say, like, we're going to do some action in the affirmative. We're going to do, like, uh, job training programs or we're going to give you certain preferences if we're hiring or for admitting people to the elite universities we're going to give some people a little extra preference right maybe we'll add some points maybe when you take take uh, the the entry to get into they, they run a like a calculation to get into a place like Penn State we're going to add a few points on to the scores of people down here in order to try to make up for the lost ground. Somehow. And by the way, women, every woman in this class has at some level benefited from affirmative action. So, right? So anyway, this is the, these, these are the programs. So these have, there, there are many different ones, okay? But the Supreme Court just Decide, they recently decided they're going to take on an affirmative, couple affirmative action cases that some groups have said are unconstitutional because it's unfair 
to give any special privilege or benefit of any sort of people who have historically been the recipients of discrimination, okay, who have historically been the recipients of discrimination, right? Their people have been discriminated against. So if we try any way to rectify the discrimination that they experience by giving them some kind of preference, like something, some benefit that other people don't have, right? And so then we got to question that. So there are groups who have challenged that in the courts and saying that's just unconstitutional and we can't do that. And so now we got to figure out what we're going to do. Okay. And so the Supreme Court is going to rule on this. And I thought, okay, let's talk about this in class.